Hi, Luna. I feel like I've forgotten something. Maybe, maybe Luna's used all their points. Oh, we have ads right now. I forget until I get a jump scare. I tossed. Yeah, I still think I've forgotten something, but I don't know why. I guess we'll figure it out. Oh, we're out of ads. It's fine. I'm ready with it. Um. Uh. Hold up, put me in the wrong scene. I haven't seen Surprise Doggo today. So I don't know. Um.
So... Yeah, after last night, when I was out there, I, uh... I saw some a few people sort of walking around that I know sort of spend a lot of time walking around the neighborhood. So I said, look, if you know anyone who knows who the owner of this dog is, please let them know it's walking around. I posted on next door, but not with my exact location, but like the apartments across the road. So hopefully, yeah, someone found them. Um, but yeah, now I'm just like, am I even seen my pretty dog today? Hi, Sadie. Um, I have taken my vitamins already. I have vitamins because Dodo was kind enough to send me some. Um, and there's no cherry ones on here, so bonus. For a little, for a short period, I thought he was gonna be a, a cheeky shit and send me cherry wins. I have water. I have eaten. I have coffee. I have my gloves on. I have delicious candy. Thanks to Sadie and and their wife. Um, I've had one so far. I'm gonna make them last like I did last week. Um, I wasn't entirely sure if I wanted to play this again today. Um, I had a big anxiety spike before stream. So the... <laughs> but, um... The neighbors who always have their dogs out have been burning trash as well. Um, and they were doing it again today. So I called the fire service. I called the I called the, the non-emergency number. Hi Ollie. Um <laughs> Yeah, I, I called the non-emergency number and um, basically said, How do I go about reporting someone for burning trash in the yard? And she's like, This is the place. When I spoke to was like, this is where you go, just feed information. And I, and she's like, okay, we'll send out a truck. And I'm like, I need, to, it's like, let me make it clear. This is not an emergent situation. No one is in danger. It's literally just someone with a barrel of trash burning in the yard. It's really smoky. And she's like, okay, why are you pulling up? And I said, my mom has COPD. They're across the road from us. Um, I felt really confident making the call. Um... And then afterwards, like they arrived almost instantly. Like we're like two, three blocks away from the fire station. Maybe a little, like really not far. Um, and within like a couple of minutes, they they turned up and I, I locked out the, the back door. And I, I don't know if they did like a slow drive by to try and like scare them. Um, but one of the firemen, firefighters uh, saw me peek out the back door and at that moment this like weight of anxiety just fell on me that I was going to get in trouble for a false report or my neighbors were going to get like aggressive because I was harassing them and I basically for like the last couple of hours I've had like these like really unhealthy negative thoughts going through my head. So we are streaming to push Past these hypotheticals that aren't gonna play out like I know I did the right thing um it's not my place to deal with someone else's crap in the yard and it's a public nuisance <sighs> but yeah my my brain is is on a struggle bus today like I know there's like the the rational logical part of it and then there's my brain like, yeah, but <laughs> so I may need uh, supportive nudges today. I very nearly didn't stream. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. Um, 
Also, uh, Daisy um, now has. I think I posted pictures right. Hey, Stora. Um, Daisy now has uh, some uh, shoes and a drag bag. Uh, so she can get around. If you want a laugh, go and look in the creators channel at the video that I posted. It was all I was like wheezing with laughter. Um, watching her do this business, trying to walk with them. Um, we did like a few hot corridor lengths with with a treat at the end and she got better. Um, and then today, um, I've got them, I've got the shoes on her back feet, which is what we wanted them for, to protect her feet from getting scraped up, because she's just, like, dragging them behind her. But, yeah, that picture as well, when I put them on here, was just like, why? <laughs> what if, what have you done? <laughs> why? Um, why? Uh, so she had some, she had some pretty good zoomies last night. I know, it's so much. <laughs> uh, she's not, she's not thrilled, but she hasn't tried to take them off. Um, so we just, just having them on for a few hours today, just so she can get used to the sensation. Cause I know she's been, she's been looking at them, but she's not chewing. So what, aren't they amazing? Hi, Karen. That's all right. Um, so yeah, thank you very much, Sadie, uh, and 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 Sadie's wife for helping with that. The, 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 I know it's just so silly. Um, they were the ones that were kind enough to see in the drag bag and the feet for her. So the bag, it, it's basically like a strap-on sleeping bag. It does. It looks a lot like the high steps. Um, but the drag bag basically will stop because her back legs aren't functioning. So it basically, normal, if she's got them behind her, they normally will just like her back feet will cross. But if she turns, she gets kind of like tangled up like a pretzel. So the bag kind of helps keep her legs kind of lined up. So she's actually able to turn around. So she's she was moving a lot better. The bag will only be for inside, obviously. And she's mostly an outside dog, but it does mean that, you know, we can play. Like, I can make her chase me around the house. <laughs> she's she's currently licking her, her shoes. Um, but yeah, and we went for like proper shoes as well, rather than just like socks. Uh, because she does prefer to spend time outside. Uh, so, you know, if she's in the wet, or if they get grubby, it's easier. They, they have like a proper sole on them, like a pair of shoes. They're easy just to be able to brush off and spot clean rather than a pair of socks, which probably just wear through. <laughs> but they just look so silly. But that's what I was thinking, Ravi, with the high step. I have to find, like, get, like, a, a little mane to put down her back. Um, I couldn't quite get, I couldn't quite get them onto her feet first. I think I need to trim her nails just to get a foot in there properly. But it was worth it just, you know, it, when you laugh to a point where you're like struggling to breathe and then afterwards you get like I guess it's an endorphins or I don't know I mean, it's just like it's a really good feeling just to have that good cathartic laugh it was it was good last night and Flint was just standing in the kitchen just watching Daisy and watching me and just being like you two but what, what do I do with you so Make make hay while the sun shines, or while the dog has the booties. I guess. What she's trying to do right now. So, um, 
Um, when last we left our intrepid cowboy, um, last night game, uh, we shot up half of the town of Valentine, pretty much. Um, so the gang leader and I were in, in the saloon and, uh, the guy who owns the train that we robbed right at the very beginning of the game was like, I know you're in there. Uh, come on out. And so there was a distraction and then I had to like shoot a bunch of people so we could get out of town. Um, and that was a lot. So we left it there um, and I ran back to camp. So I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where we go from there, but I guess it was a good thing I bought the guns that I did because I, I have a feeling um, I might have a price uh, a, a price on my head again, but like a big one. Uh, so let's find out. And sorry for waffling for like half an hour. <laughs> so yeah, well, we're going to find out what's going on here. Also, if you guys, if any of you like ginger, you would get these candies. Do we ginger can ginger get ginger candies? They are so good. And what I I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what this is. Like I know he's picking his teeth here, but I don't know what with. I haven't had a waffle in forever. That sounds like a good time to remedy that cat. I prescribe a waffle. We had had waffles the other day. So I love them. I really love the flavor and I love ginger candy. Um but also, because they're, they're so chewy, I can't eat a lot of them. Should definitely have waffles for dinner. Oh, and also, I don't... I have a hat. My hat fell off. And the uh, gunfight. So... No, it's... Wait, what? Oh god. Your dead eye ability has improved. You can manually tag targets with Play there, Arthur. That smoke, it's like my fucking neighbors. Oh hey, I should eat, right? You fill up your car and get something that sounds like a good idea. Yourself something yummy. Do you have waffles with sour cream and strawberries? Maybe. I don't know. That's that's possibly. It's kind of weird. They are really yummy candies though, but they, they, if you eat too many of them, it gets, they get spicy, but it's like a good spice. It does have cannibal vibes. It's very much like with him leaning back on a, a purple cushion. He's just like so, eating my friends and I don't care. And you and him go robbing sheep. He's a grown man, Abigail. At least he looks like one. He's a oh, God right. He's got a child. He ain't no father. I'm just begging you not to get him killed. Hey, look. It was his idea to get into the sheep thing, okay, Abigail? He's eating the rich. Yeah. Hi there, Arthur. Um, so... Yeah. Me too. Wait. 
Okay, so I am wanted in this area, not surprising. Uh, dead or alive? Uh, if I go into Valentine. So I'm going to have to go into the next county over, I guess. <clears throat> to clear my bounty? I don't know if that works, actually. It's got a catch in my throat. Picking his teeth with the bones of the rich. So they also want to kill me in Fort Wallace. But yeah, this whole town now is basically now out of bounds for us because we... We killed a lot of people. Um, so yeah, that happened. So maybe the first thing I should do is get to this uh, railway station and see what my bounty is. And then we can go from there. Hello, Karen. Hello, Miss Grimshaw. How is your meal? Fine. I'm so glad. Miss Grimshaw looks very you know, unimpressed. While we were stuck up that mountain, I thought long and hard about if we'd have to eat you. Very amusing. Well, it turns out that she was already married. So I, I suggested we roasted you alive, but Mr. Pearson was keener on chopping you up and turning you into stew. Said he couldn't bear to see your face for even one moment longer than he had to. You're quite the amusing companion, aren't you? Well, I like to think so. In a way, but it hasn't been terribly filling. She left her soup behind. Hey, I suppose not. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh my God! Did you see how she just like brushed crumbs off her chest? Like they've done a really good job with the interactions of characters. What you prepare for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. No, you simple minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. Oh dear. Means you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Oh. Mount up then. Let's go. Okay. We'll uh, just jump on misadventure oh, here. You know, it was before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. I think it's acting to the timeline, not the video. They were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. Interesting. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. I don't think it is obvious. I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with I guess, well, you... <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here to the left. That seems kind of silly because you you want to mark your video you want to mark the video because of the same thing. Rich whiskey, hello, thank you for the raid. Counterfix, hello, hello, hello. Mrs. Kesha whiskey, hi. Hello, welcome in. Oh, you're playing Audi R2 as well. Awesome. Oh. Hey, I. I don't think I'm ready for this. Um, it seems like it. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, oh god! Ah, I don't know what's doing. Uh, Calendril, hi, welcome in, everyone. Um, I. Oh god! Am I just supposed to like shoot one here? I don't know what I'm doing. 
Um, I, I, I am, uh, Del, Deluria. Um. And, uh, I don't really know what I'm doing. It's fine. Uh, my pronouns are she, her. I don't, I don't know if that was the same one that I was trying to run down before. Yes, it is my first playthrough. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I'm trying to stick to just one. Oh, I think I just shot at the light. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Yep. You're jealous of the, the first experience? Time experience. How do you? I I swear he keeps changing targets. It is. It is. I have been enjoying it. So yesterday, I, I feel like we're using the wrong gun here. Um. Oh. Uh, ah, okay. Hey. Okay. All right. Skin and butcher it. Yeah, no, too. please. Ha Sorry, I'm so distracted. Um, but have a wonderful party. Thank you so much. I hope you. Sorry, thank you for the raid. I hope you go have a wonderful party. But enjoy the party. I can work. Thanks. Have a good night. <laughs> it's it's fine. Uh, okay. This is probably going to be gross, by the way. Just wait a second, girl. Dude, is this really necessary? Oh god. Good job. Stow that on your horse and mount up. I wanna <laughs> go check something out. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, so Last time, okay. la we, so we were playing this yesterday. Last night, uh, we basically uh, shot up the entire town of Valentine. Um, and so now I'm wanted there. I guess I already I have some meat. This seems really wasteful. Wait, what? some herbs here. What's this? Oh, oregano! I forget some for dinner! Um, so yeah. I just, we, I kind of logged out after that because it was a lot to process. I just thought I was going to the pub for a drink and all of a sudden like half the town is now Dead. Um. <laughs> uh. So yeah, that was a I surprise. I some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. Oh god, my dog's going off his hair. The hit. It is the most. Oh, I still don't have it. Tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow him. All right, lead the way. 
Yes, we are, we're keeping track of, of Pat. <laughs> we're looking for Len Lenny. Lenny! Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. So yeah, I I don't I don't know what's going on. Like that. Uh Liddy? Get all But that was really good. That was the one mission that I've actually got a silver medal for. Everything else I've got bronzes. Look, Apparently I make a good drop. On the hill to the right. Come on. Um Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take but yeah, I don't, I don't, I've not played it before. I've not really uh, seen anyone play it, so I don't even know the story. I'm still kind of learning the UI. This is like our fifth, fifth or sixth uh, gaming session. I found their chewing tobacco. Take that. I'll take the moonshine too. Oh, it looks like they left in a rush. Oh, I'm full on canned fruit. on PC at all because if anyone in here is playing on PC when I was playing this a couple of weeks ago when I started playing I was able to auto path on my horse and not in cinematic mode uh, but I forgot how to and I can't make it happen again about the same amount of time so what do you want to do they could still be in the area so if Let's you I, I have a no back seating rule, but uh, specifically if you know the answer to that, I would appreciate it very much. Because everything I find on Google says to go into cinematic mode, and I don't like that. And I didn't do that the first time. Okay. You see anything? Arthur, look. Smoke to the north. Could be another camp. Let's go check it out. Bastards. Just killing for fun. Think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. I kill when I need a hat. I may have shot a few people just to get a hat. Some people like to try and get ahead of the situation. I like to get ahead of the situation. Oh god. Did you fool shoot those bison? What's your problem? I said. Did you fools shoot those bison? Yeah, that puts oh, it into cinematic. That was what I was trying to avoid. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What? We. Oh, it's that business of mine! Good God, you're crazy! I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. I didn't do it like it wasn't in cinematic last time it was like Assassin's Creed and that I would it would just like stick me to the road Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about God damn it, tell us you're dead Oh, okay We were paid to kill as many as we could and to make it look like it was Indians Just kill him, Arthur No, please don't Kill me. I'm begging you. I've heard enough. Hmm. 
Do we have a hit? Oh, we've got a hit. That's what he deserved. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm gonna um, see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later. Hat. There we go. Inspect document. Oh. Oh, it's the pattern. Oh, a poison throwing out. Outdoorsman tip. If no woman can be found, no. I said a Freudian slip there. If no water can be found for days, do not substitute drinking liquor, salt water, urine, or blood, as they can bring on delirium. We got anything else? Take a break. I keep forgetting to use the um use all the consumables. Also I totally misread that as being a horse river. You know when you like rev the engine. Go, girl. Okay, so what am I doing with this hide now? Um. Well, I'm always here. Yeah, my mouse is. My mouse cord was yep. fucked up and moving my mouse. Oh, now, hello. Easy there. Okay. Wait, what predator chair? Oh. Yes, a snake? It seemed like there was something that I could like push and it would just be like, oh, okay, now you're auto pathing. And I'd be like, yay, cool. Yep. I mean, I can use the cinematic mode. This is something just to give my hands a break. I made an effort to shoot the bison in the head, so it was probably probably lots of other holes. It's like too late. I may have to camp. Can I camp out here? Da 
it still morning? Hello, baby. Hi, farm. Let's see if I've got anything to cook. Hello, meowdy. I need to hunt some more venison because that stuff just like filled me up real good. It'd be nice if you could just like batch cook. I wonder if this is from like the random turkey vulture or something that I found. I do I, I do appreciate that there's no like food decay. So I can just walk around with like steak in my pocket and it's fine. I mean, it, uh. wait, till when? Noon, eight hours, seven hours. So it's five o'clock in the morning. So pretty. So glad we have a hat. Oh, I just realized I camped next to the cemetery. It's a dead center of town. What is this place? Oh, Emerald Ranch. Whoop. I thought so. Okay, we just have to wait for the post office to open. Come here, horse. To you. Oh, sorry. My bad. The other guy made me go Wait. to the other side of the window. Clear this ride up for you. Sixty dollars. I ain't here to judge no man. That was God's work. Okay, so now am I good to go into Valentine? Oh my God, I am. Sixty dollars for shooting up the entire town, and we're good to go. Be seeing you. Horse, get off! Don't stand on the railway track. Okay, Flum. Thank you. It's a pretty little garden.
Uh, said I, I uploaded yesterday as, uh, onto YouTube this morning, so it should be there. It was not a very good pelt. It's full of bullet holes. I like how I misread that. Uh, it says poor bison. Poor bison pelt. Whoopsie. Um, but I misread it not as poor quality, but like, oh, poor bison pelt. Ah, Thanks, so Arma. Thank place. you. All right, take a look. No, uh, he's not interested. Thank you. Hey, get your chilly Mac Big Ham. Um. Hey there, girl. So, I guess back to camp. And we're just going to use the cinematic. I think this is working. I don't know. I guess we're just gonna do just to do this. It's fine. We can just use we're gonna use the cinematic camera to give my hands a break. Oh, am I going the right way? I guess we just have to trust it. I was also very excited yesterday to get green tea. I basically all of my favorite things that I have with me right now are green. So they all look terrible on stream. Green tea, green candy. Yeah. Green pancakes. It looks like um, Blue and Queenie's stream is going really well. I'm seeing lots of really positive... I did kill a drill. Yeah, I lived in, in London for a couple of years. Um, and I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I didn't hear what he said. Did she just stream a burp on the podcast? <laughs> That's adorable. lived in London for six years it's funny there's so many people have got like I don't know a lot of salt I guess for for London or a lot of disparaging the words to say about it but I lived in north northeast London uh, in uh, a smaller in an area called Stoke Newington And it was beautiful. Oh, you lived in Southwark. Oh, it's really lovely there. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, Stoke Newington was beautiful. It was green. There were, like, I didn't need to leave the area at all. Like, um, a little, 
if I could walk a little bit to the east and I could go for a, I could walk along the River Lee. Um, it was just a really pretty area. Like, it was beautiful. Everyone's like, oh, London, it's such a smelly city. And like, it's really not. And with the congestion charge thing, when they introduced the congestion charge, it made such a difference. Like, London City is beautiful too. I'm a big fan. <laughs> I get more homesick for London than I do for New Zealand. <laughs> just weird. Okay. What are I... What do I do with this bloody thing? That's a lie. That's not What's your guy? I used to go on these like big walks too when I lived there. So I I lived in Stoke Newington, which was N16, and I worked in Allgate. So like just a couple of blocks back from you are too the tower um, and i used to walk to and from wiki show it was like six miles each way but it was fine because i was fit and healthy as my uncle would say um and i would just go on these big walks like because one day i got oh yeah absolutely that makes so much more sense Mr. Morgan, bring me some materials and i i never got up that way i would have loved uh, to visit Wales. Look, you're a great man, Mr. Dutch, but you ain't great because of um, Evelyn Miller. But when I was like, when I was working in London, like I was working in London, and then I just kind of got stuck there with some other stuff going on, so I never got to leave. I do like talking with you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Um, but yeah, I would definitely much rather raising little ones. Up that way i'm not gonna i i don't know how to pronounce it properly in gaelic so that's why i'm just going for wales <laughs> um it went all to welsh I'm not sure on the correct terms and i don't want to fuck it up appreciate it pearson how do i what do i do with this here soon if we're not careful umru like oh like kuch a hug, right? Kuch. Kind of, and I'm probably saying that wrong too. Fine, but make sure you get a good prize for it. That's like the only word I know. <laughs> There's a, a streamer I know, a uh, uh, Welsh chap, uh, and he has it as a point redemption. Like, or a chat command, so you can like hug each other and sure I don't know if Might I need well that some money job, off. Mr. Morgan. man it is fucking foggy I feel like I'm missing something here So we did the hunting. There's a couple of item acquisition. Man, that is a, a lot of water. A lot of standing water around the camp. It's bothering me. This guy, what does this one want to do? I'm still avoiding rescuing Micah because Micah's a dick. Hey, what are you working on? Fire arrows. Interesting. Mm. Ooh. You give me a bottle of moonshine and I'll make you some. Moonshine? Mm. Whiskey do? No. It has to be moonshine. Whiskey ain't strong enough. Okay. Thank you. My pleasure. Fucking fire arrows? Got that moonshine for you. Okay. I'm in. Thanks. I'll make some arrows for you later. Sounds good. I'm so in on fire arrows. Good okay, what is... Oh, here he is. Oh, Lord. 
Uh, rob a homestead? No, I'm a good girl. Um. Do you believe in heaven, Miss Crimshaw? Excuse me? Do you believe in heaven? Heaven. Yes, you know, angels, bright lights, that sort of thing. Well, I, I... I once was engaged to a man. Long time ago. He died. He was the best man I ever knew. And I believe he's in heaven. I never knew that. I, excuse me, please. Oh, Susan. She has a rough time of it. Arthur. That's what I need. I need me a washboard. Okay. So, bounty is cleared. Except for in Blackwater. I don't know how to deal with that one. Um. <clears throat> I'm assuming we'll get there at some point. Micah is still wallowing away in, I don't know, whatever bullshit his, of his own making. So... <clears throat> I guess, um... We'll go risk our lives robbing a, a homestead. Oh, actually... Oh my god, Dutch. that was some business in town. Yes. Is Strauss still alive? Oh, he's fine. That's not the problem. Maybe we shouldn't have robbed that train. Well, we did. We can't change that now. That Cornwall, he's got deep pockets and a bad temper. Well, then we'll just have to turn them against him. We've beaten his sort before. He's a very rich man, Dutch. He's one of the richest in the country. He's rich in money, Arthur. Poor in life. He is a horrible little goblin of a man. Mm. So, what are we gonna do? Well, you wrap up your business here and we'll get moving. Move where? Good morning, Arthur. Back up a bit, will you? Well, you didn't tell me where we're gonna move to. Why are you doing this? Why? What? Are we gonna have a fight? You never learn, do you? You need to get your head right. I'm just standing there. Buddy, do you need to talk? Can I help you, Dutch? Busy, <laughs> I understand meet up. No. Long day ahead. Good morning, Uncle Arthur. Thanks again for coming fishing with me. That was I really wish cute. Those mean men hadn't ruined it. Me too, Jack. Oh, don't worry about them, okay? Ooh. This coffee is very different after ginger candy. Okay, fine. You know what? The child is awfully close to the edge and unattended too, but I guess that one at its finest? I'm a little 
a little part of me was like, can I nudge him closer? I didn't see you there, Jack. Why are you so close, Uncle Arthur? <laughs> I'm so glad, Ken. Uh, so, no, you can't. I'm like running and it's not working. I don't understand. Let's go to I, kiddo. Oh, we have ads dropping in uh, 30 seconds. So, okay? before I go off to Robert Homestead, I'm going to uh, take okay. a break for three minutes and uh, turn up and stretch and go to the loo. Uh, you guys should also do the same. My timer seems off, but I'm going to take the break anyway because it is starting short. Apparently. Um, so I will see you in a few minutes. Um, yes, you all need to hydrate and stretch. And I'll see you soon. I keep on repeating myself. It'll, it's happening shortly anyway. I know it's happening shortly. So, hey. How's it going? than how I feel. Sorry to hear that. I'm uh, breathing. Arthur.
let's go rob a homestead. Because anything's better than rescuing Micah. Is that a Bible? Hi, Echo. Yeah, no, we're good with that. Hey, How about hey, instead hey. of reading the Bible, we go rob a homestead? House. It could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they Walls, said, said it was really windows, windows. freakish. The family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. But they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. They're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course. Uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. I mean, I've already Let's paid. Do you know what look. else I need accounted exactly. for is how much bounty I've Just paid? Just take a look. Maybe. Do we need a bounty counter? Because I've already done sixty dollars bounty. I'm pretty sure we got over a hundred dollars yesterday. You know what? Sure, more or less. I didn't know as well. I couldn't decide if we wanted to have like a, a per session hat counter or just like a running total. But I feel like a running total for that. Yeah. The the hats made more sense. Get going. Oh, he's going. Girl. Yes. It helps. I'm, I'm starting to get a lot more comfortable with the controls. Um, and I think the biggest, the biggest Thing that I was up against was I was trying to rush. This is not a fast game. This is a game that's you you don't need to rush. Okay, we're pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. I feel like there's there's no way this isn't dodgy. There's a spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family been isolated for so long. They started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. Didn't bring my well, sniper you just rifle. Keep me on this job, don't you? Well, big place, right? You got your binoculars. Binoculars. Well, there's a pretty big barn in the back. Not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. This desk could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Well, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And I got an idea. Fire? Hang on a second, I need my rifle. Stay with me, Arthur. Oh, I have the rifle. Never mind. Okay, stick close now. It's it gets a bit ridiculous. I need to go back through um all these trees. I can't get a yes, yesterday's place. stream because oh, there was uh, a couple of silly moments enough. where Coach chat was really so quiet, yeah, but so I did some fun. really dumb shit um, that made me laugh. So I want to go through and like try and flip it. Hey, keep it down. I hear voices.
Come on, let's hide behind the shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Seems like a really bad idea. The horses would have started getting. Okay. Thank you, Echo. You too. Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I was gone for ten minutes. I was. You can only get all the now day long, cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? Oh, he didn't get all the jam. You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your belt. I will. Your niece will pull it up, boy. Oh. Go guard the shed. Go. You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What are we doing, Javier? Okay. You take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see. Which rock? Oh, over there. Is this rock? Rock. This rock? Oh, he started a fire. <clears throat> Did we need that? Really? I don't see any more of them. All right, quick. Let's look for the stash. They weren't shy about defending that bar. Let's check in there first. Can I just out of curiosity? Just, you know, the shits and giggles. boy huh? 
It's like, gosh, that's disturbing. I'll just do it again. trouble didn't i yeah you take this let's split up i'll meet you back at camp <sighs> sounds good <coughs> wait for it Do we want a bounty counter? Probably not. Hey, Tug. Other buildings. As soon as I see a sentence uh, starting with no spoilers, but I am going to ignore it. By the way. not wanting to spoil but uh foreshadowing in hints and stuff are not welcome uh and i'd only just kind of got here so yeah that's right let, let me let me discover things on myself by myself and if i miss out then that's on me
Hmm. And my throat is... Rough again today. Oh, it's alright, Sadie. Someone at camp needed hair pomade. I already have lots of that. I don't want to go up here now. Oh, I already have a pump action shotgun. Last time I started doing a thorough search, Lauren, ooh, the lore turned up. Seems fine. Over here, so. Hi, horsey. <laughs> You're a very good horse. Adventure puts up with so much bullshit from me. I don't deserve this horse. So yesterday I got this pop-up saying that our bond had reached maximum level and I could now drift. So I was pretending to do donuts on my horse. And um so there was this lamp post and here's like my horse like this is the you know the horse's head this is the horse's nose and i all of a sudden i just went like this and literally face planted with the horse into the lamp post and it was so fucking funny <laughs> and chat was was absolutely dead so no one caught it 
So I have to I have to go back and try and catch the flip because it, it cracked me up. All right. So that was that. Oh, good job. I still have some leftover lunch for the later. I, I mean, I still love Mr. Horse. I still have Mr. Horse, but Miss Adventure is my favorite. I'm gonna use this cinematic thing for for auto pathing because it's making me take a break from controlling the game. So it's giving my hands a break. And we can just enjoy the scenery. Steered me through a couple of dodgy places. That cannot. Oh my god, this path is so sketch. My horse GPS is something special. A few weeks ago, Publix had a deal on, uh, like a buy one get one deal on like little tiny mini pancakes, silver dollar pancakes. And we got a couple of boxes because Flint knows how much I enjoy those. So I, I sat there with some jam and uh, a little tub of Cool Whip, putting like a little bit of jam and a little bit of Cool Whip on a, pulling up a plate full of tiny pancakes. It was uh, a little bit of happiness right there. Oh, there's gallows. I wonder if we're still going to get paid for the sheep. I mean, where's the problem with that? We just have a maple milkshake. Pancake syrup shake. I 
I, I mean, it sounds pretty good to me. Surely it must be close. It's a good thing you don't have to answer the challenge, huh? I think... This way. Come on. I think I may just have got some fire good. arrows. All good? Too good. Like the chance to shoot a fella and not feel bad about it. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Stay alert. Here's your pomade. Uh, hair pomade you wanted. Well, look at that. Thanks, Morgan. I, I owe you one. I reckon we should both just forget this ever happened. I was just thinking about that Cornwall train. You did good there. <laughs> Nearly didn't make it. Made it more than the rest of them. How's everything? Well, apparently, I just learned about chicken. Hi, Lenny. Evening. You regretting falling in with us yet? Didn't figure we'd be on the run like this. If I go back and they find me, I'm dead. My mother. I heard she died. Someone's got fire arrows. But I did not bury her. My sister got married. She moved away. I, I hope she's safe, but I, I will never know. And what was my crime? My crime was wanting food and fairness for the people. If so many hats. And hunted. I come here. Things are not so very different. Everyone steals, kills, suppresses, lies. All they do better here is make you believe that it's not that way. <laughs> That one's silly. Stolen hats. Game, please. That's a pretty good look. Hey, Javier. Hello. Hey. What are these? All colors, okay. I mean, that's a pretty good look, too. How about you up? Hi, Bird. Problems with your appetite. How are you holding up? My 
and not try to ruin it. I'm not sure I appreciate your tone, girl. I like that outfit. Susan and Karen are are having issues. I think I found one. Are you okay, Daddy? Go get yours one day, my girl. And you won't get Okay, what did you buy? If that's what you mean. I've been on quite a tear. There. What did you do? Oh. I got one yesterday, a game yesterday, and it's a factory game, but for magic potions. Oh. Oh. Magical mixture mill. And it looks really cute, but it's also like automation. Damn it, I just realized I basically put on Dutch's costume. No, not magical mixture mills. Fuck's sake. Hello, lady. That's a different streaming service. Look, who wears it better? Obviously me. Sorry, Dutch. Yes, Mill. Clearly, Arthur is the hottie. Oh, God. Arthur is the hottie of the two. But no, it's automation, but with potions. <laughs> so do you think you're going to get that out of your system in 10 days? Ish? You know, before Planet Crafter drops. Okay. Maybe I should start looking at crafting stuff. Arthur, don't forget, I'm more than happy to craft you something if you bring me the right materials. A lot of perfect hides. Perfect snake skin. Fuck off. I, I was able to manage that. <laughs> Perfect panther pelt. Perfect panther pep, pep, pep. Okay, so these this is kind of like Horizon Zero Dawn. Wanna skins. Basically perfect shit. Just remember, my items are one of a kind, Mr. Morgan. Peterson Wagon Twice. Thank you, Mr. Pearson. Morning, Arthur. Uh. 
That is not the box. Ooh, shiny bottles. Okay, so sixty dollars. I think it did enough. Hey, Lenny. Mr. Morgan, Mr. Morgan. Listen. I've noticed you've stopped paying into the box. I've been sort of busy, Miss Grimshaw. Mm. Well, we all need to eat, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> I'll see what I can do. Thank you. I'd shoot her. You know what, lady? You smell like poo. Hello, Mrs. Adler. Karen said so. Some materials, and I'll be glad to make something nice for you. Perfect. They're probably. But you know, you'd get after traveling so long together. I think you'd get used to each other's fog. So if someone smells noticeably bad in this environment, they must really, really stay. Because you would get used to everyone's odors. We've been in bad situations before, but like my whole life from one long bad situation. Morning, Arthur. Okay, so what is this? Arthur. I was going to put some more money in, but, uh... It said that there was, oh, see there's like a little exclamation mark there. Oh. Didn't know that was a thing. How do I... Imagine, like, looking around. You see this guy just, like, smashing into this wagon. Well, I don't know how to donate. What is that dog doing? Why don't you see Arthur? Okay. Are you okay, Arthur? I guess. You seem kind of worried. Of course I'm worried. What about? The whole world's changing. Even I see that now. Our time pretty much passed. They don't want folk like us no more. <laughs> this their rules will be damned with you. No more outlaws. No more killers. Welcome back. Just being hunted. Oh, they ain't stopping. We went and made our choices a long time ago. 
I guess we gotta pay for our sins. Oh, Arthur. What a sad world we live in. Well, I ain't sad, Mary Beth. I'm just realistic about what's coming. But I I keep killing animals. Needlessly. I don't know. <laughs> Arthur. Oh, Arthur. You're the only one of these fools knows just how lost he is. Ain't that the truth? <sighs> Ain't that the truth? Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know quite. point of that was I guess talking is good or something <sighs> I don't know but <laughs> the bird look if the birds keep falling from the sky hey what am I supposed to do about it Oh, yes, just like chugging a can. No, it's not Arthur who smells, it's Susan. Miss Grimshaw is the smelly one. Oh, fuck, it's Abigail Run. Okay, then, girl. That's the smelly lady. Okay, what are we doing? We could go take a bath. Uh, we could go hunting, which I'm not very good at. Um, I don't know how to deal with my bounty at Fort Wallace. I don't think there's anything to do about that. There's a whole big area of map to explore. Maybe we should come over here. Which is also the opposite direction of where Micah is. Which lends itself. Uh, to a possibility, I think. So let's, um. I feel like we're not my yeah. tree. So relaxed. Like, look at the way his arm is just like held to his side.
we, we're using the cinematic auto auto pathing to give my hands a break we need to travel somewhere I just I miss being able to look around it, it is I need to grab a whiskey bottle you not even know Okay. Hi, Drax. Uh, yes, can we do the threat? I had to go check on the doggo. She was getting a bit tangled up. This is the, the auto pathing in cinematic mode, which I've decided to use just because it gives my hands a break. Uh, Daisy's got her, her first day wearing her new shoes, so we're having some teething issues. <laughs> Nothing drastic, just you know, adapting and overcoming. How are you today, today Drex? I hope you're well. This is wait. This is basically the thing that you suggested to do yesterday, or you, you gave me info for yesterday. I'm good, thank you. I had much giggle about Daisy yesterday, which brightened my mood significantly. What have I done? Yeah, it's a nail broke off. Um. There's a very cute video of Daisy in Critters, if you want to laugh. Of Daisy learning how to walk with her boots. It is the goofiest thing. 
Y'all, I did see. Wait, why am I here? Oh, right. I was just moving into the next zone so I could avoid rescuing Micah. Wait. Ooh, a corpse. Don't mind if I do. Yeah. They might have some cocaine gum. I have entered legendary animal tech. Oh. Well, that didn't do him any good, did it? Thank you kindly, good sirs. Yeah. All right. So uh, we were coming down here to just explore, actually. And let's open up our map a little bit. It looks like, am I going the wrong way? Oh, we're good. What are you doing? Yeah. Daisy's been a weird little dog. You stay right there and don't move. You got a bullet. This is probably, you know what? Like, fuck you, buddy. I mean, sure. Hey, I didn't lose my hat. That's basically when, oh my god, last, the, the last thing we did before streaming did last night um, was a massive gunfight in the town of Valentine. And... <laughs> so many bodies! It was ridiculous. Oh, hello? Digitalis? Foxclove. Sage. Ooh, alright. It was ridiculous. So, like, oh, but look, there's a hat. It would be remiss of me not to take the hat. Um. Ugh. Yeah, this is. Oh, I mean, sure, eat the sage. Why not? Raw sage is gonna be delicious. Um. So yeah, I went into town to talk to, uh, go to the pub for a drink. And then all of a sudden, uh, a gunfight. Did I get it? I 
Hungry? Anyone? I just got. Ah! I just put it in my bag. You know? Oh, right. We have ads popping in uh, 30 seconds or so. It is the bag of infinite holding. I mean, it was a little squirrel. Uh, okay, ads. It's time for ad break. This was absolutely the, the worst place to, uh... What, was that a boat over there? I don't think it's safe to go AFK here. Uh, but I'm gonna. And, uh, I... I need to wait. So I'll be right back. Okay, well, I'm alive, so bonus. Let's look at the fishies! I mean, this seems like a great place to go fishing, right?
come on. Hey, fishy, fishy. Seems to be making a lot of headway with this. It's gonna be like a little tiddler. Look, it's a tiny little fish. Look how small it is. Meanwhile, the fish at the jump are like, the fish at the front are jumping at me. Probably be fast just going in and trying to hit them with a club. I don't know if there's like some sort of like hidden uh Pole in there too. Oh, oh, pause. oh, hey, let's go for bath. Oh, my God, that'd be amazing. I was like, why are you in the water? What are you doing? Wait, did I drop my squirrel? Wait, wait, look! I'm so good at fishing. I literally just found a fish on the shore. I just found a trout. Tell me you're dead. Holy crap! The size of this fucking thing! It's fangs! It's got fangs! Uh, 
Um, let's cook it. It's probably fine, right? Plain stringy meat. Wait, I think that was the squirrel. Wait, uh, I guess I'm eating squirrel now. Plain flaky fish. Plain succulent fish. I'm just gonna put that in my bag with the dead squirrel bits. It'll be fine. I'm a bit sus that everything looks the same in this. All right. Oh, I can make bitters, which is good for fully restore stamina. I don't know how you get from a cup into like a little bottle like that, but hey. love the crafting in this though. Somehow it moved me all the way up here. Um, so why are we- oh, we're just exploring. What is that symbol? Is that the sage? Is that sage? We can't leave a campfire unattended though. Unlike my neighbors. Probably hate me now. I keep on being like, oh, flowers, this must be edible. How far? Okay, so this way. In these trees? Oh, was the sage the the purple flowers? Alright. I don't- I still don't know if that's what this means. Oh yeah, it does. Look, there it is. It's the sage. Hummingbird sage. Took me a while to realize that there there would be map markers for different plants. You are a moth, a uh, mushroom. Yummy. And love mushrooms. Hmm. 
We forage in. I ended up just like looking for like flowers or something that looks unusual, but it turns out there's a lot of just decorative flowers in this game. <clears throat> I also keep waiting to get attacked by a wolf. Hey, what's going on here? Why don't you mind your business and keep walking, huh? Hello? Second look. Don't have to Nick. tell me twice. We told you what? Oh. What? Hey. Uh, what? How is that guy not dead from his... Hope you boys chose a full safe. Um... Hat! Wait, is that the same hat? I think that's the same hat. Does that count? Same hat. I don't think we'll count. Ooh, silver emblem ring. I don't think that will count. What's this? Yep. I can sell this way again. Oh, this place is all burnt out. So it breaks. Hopefully, it doesn't roll away. See treasure in here. Maybe in the chimney. <gasps> Hi, Mark. Thank you. Oh. I can see my house from here. Oh, these canoes. Well, ain't much going on here. Ain't much going on at all. Oh my God, this game is so pretty. I'm like, what is that running across the field? Is that a velociraptor? No, probably a fox. Yep. I don't think they have velociraptors in this game. Could be wrong.
Hey, buddy. You alive? Hello? Excuse me. Evening, mister. Good? I guess. Guess he's just having a snooze. Someone knock on my door. I have absolutely no idea where I'm going. But this looks like a likely house to rob from. Should we go in here? Oh god! It's fine. Sorry about the fence. this yep. Yep. hello is anyone home oh it's a flower mill I thought it might be with the little do 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 dad drive through livery yeah. thing. Yeah. Well, there's a railway station up here. Oh, oh, we found a town. And they don't know me yet. So they don't know well enough to be like, ma'am, you're not welcome. Or, sir. Welcome to Rhodes. I think this is good enough parking. Let's head back on out. Whoopsie. Mark, I hope you're having a lovely day today. This place looks fancy. Look at that yellow paint. Refrigerated? Get ice here. Money to be made on the new railroad for those who know which way to see the place. I don't look at all disreputable right now. Oh, could we go for a train race? How do you do, sir? Greetings. Train ticket. I don't know where any of these places are. 
Good skirt. Okay, safe travels. I thought I was going to go on the train. Should get cinematic train trips. Man, the romance of railway. Nothing about it. I love to by train. Oh boy. I don't think I'm ready for this place. Hey my horse is waiting for me. Now I'm on the train. Trains can be lucrative robbery targets. You tell me that now? Alright, can you imagine? If you will, you're on a rickety old steam train. Oh, the train literally just stops when I stop. <laughs> um, and you have to go for a wee and all you have is a janky chamber pot. And like, if you're sitting here, how much does that suck? Oh, it's like I'm doing the moonwalk. How do I get off? Oh, like that? Oh, well, not quite like that. I don't want to rob the train. I don't know where I am. Hello? I just fell off the train. I don't know if I should have got off there. Okay, girl. Oh, there's a theater. You got a problem? No. I don't think. I'm just new here in town. Oh my goodness, the sounds of the clippy clubs. Hi, sir. Hello. It seems that the more we earn, the more. Oh, hey, stop that. I'm trying to rig the. Sorry, just trying to read the map. I'm in the big city now. Oh my god, is a blue loop and a red loop? Ma'am? <sighs> Takes two hours. Always travel with a valid ticket. Uh, I think my horse pooed over there, so I'm just gonna go over here and pretend it didn't happen. Oh, it's a tram. Elk Corrin, taxidermist, majestic tailors. <gasps> Taylor. How do you know that? Wait, who's that talking to me? Mm. 
Who was that? I heard a lady, but I don't I don't see any woman. If I Oh. Okay, it was a child. I'm not going down that alleyway. That looks dodgy as fuck. Uh. I. Yes? Why? What are you saying? This is all natural, I'll have you know. Yeah, you can go for a swim. I'll take you home. Um. <laughs> Sir, if <laughs> this would take us, take us dead, you won't say home on the back of the horse. I guess. I, I can't remember. Much of New Orleans. I was only there for one night. Oh, um, this, this. Woods, cats. <clears throat> oh, good. The sun's coming up. Um, I stayed in a. Where did that say? I can't shop. Is it just too early in the day? Um. <coughs> I stayed at a backpacker's hostel, um, just uh, like not too far out from the French Quarter. Um, and I'd never encountered heat or humidity like I had when I was there. I think it was August-ish, August or September that I was there. But I stayed one night and it was within walking distance of the French Quarter in um, Bourbon Street. Um, and I was about to walk out and the the person at the desk of the backpackers was like, it is, it's, he's like, I don't want to freak you out, but it's not safe to walk around here. Um, and then I, I caught, they, he called a cab for me down into Bourbon Street and the cab driver was showing me like basically this whole area still had only just started opening up after Katrina. Morning. This was in 2007. So like the hostel that I was staying in was the first business to open up on that street again and buildings were just like boarded up hmm. in all direction. Like it was just crazy. He's like, it's just not safe to walk around here at night. There's not, there's no people, there's no street lights. <laughs> um, and then all of a sudden you just hit like Bourbon Street and it was just like manic. I think it was like a Tuesday night and I just couldn't believe how many people there were. Um, it was an experience. It was definitely an experience. I'd love to go there again. Sure. I think I have one picture. Uh, this chap, one picture from New Orleans from my time there, and it was a very blurry picture uh, of a giant cockroach on the floor of the room that I stayed at the hostel. 
Um, I think it was just a palmetto bug. <laughs> now I'm just like, whatever, but I just saw this thing that was like a couple of inches long and I was just like, oh hell no! I don't think so. Um, but yeah, I mean this was only a few years after. I think well, Katrina was in like 2004, right? So it was only a few years. But one of my most amazing travel memories was from a bar um, on Bourbon Street. So they were like, I said, even though it was on a, a Tuesday, all the bars were like really busy. And it was weird because like bouncers were like grabbing people to like physically pull them into the bar. I guess they were like really proactively trying to get bums on seats. And I went into this one little bar that was playing. It had like live, uh, I don't know how it was advertised, basically like live Motown cover band or something. <coughs> And I sat up at the bar because I'd learned that the bar was the safest place to sit as a woman traveling on her own. Um, and I got pretty comfy by then, so I was like, you know, if we ever drink, put a dollar on the bar, and eventually they'd find out that I was a bar manager, and then I'd just get lots of free drinks. Um, but the second I walked into this bar, I heard the um, the bass line, the starting bass line for one of my favorite songs. And I was about to leave and I walked in and I heard this and I was like, oh shit, no way. Um, and it kept on playing. So it was Papa was a Rolling Stone. There's just something about their bass line that gets me every time, gives me goosebumps. So I just walked in, sat down at the bar and they took care of me. And I took care of them and it was an amazing evening. I don't know how I got back to the, the backpackers. I don't know how I got back to the train station and on the train because I still had to travel the next day from New Orleans up to Atlanta. But that was a hell of a night. And I also tried the hur a hurricane for the first time. The drink. No, thank you. That is, that is not for me. No, they didn't tell me it was rum. Or like 11 different types of rum. But it was, it was amazing. And there was like this international house of, yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't like rum generally. And they had this like plastic hub with a tap. And that was the, <laughs> the like, that was the hurricane. They basically just like pulled the bottle in and shook it up and it was set behind the bar and they just, you know, dispensed the drinks. Um, I definitely had a few too many. I know I spilled at least one drink, but I know it, at a certain point I didn't get charged anymore for my drinks. Yeah, and there was like this international something or other international bear house or something there as well which was like really cool there was so many bears from all over the place and i used to smoke and it was a non-smoke it was non-smoking i don't i know what this is for um but i i pulled up a bar a seat at the bar oh it's newspaper so i don't care about that pulled up a stool at the bar and I saw the ashtrays behind the counter, but I didn't say anything. And he's the bartender saw me looking at the ashtray and he's like, oh, you smoke? Here you go. And I was like, I thought it was against the law. And he's like, it's New Orleans. What do you do? Sorry, New Orleans. So I was quite happily just sitting at the bar trying, I don't know how many flights of beer I had. <laughs> Smoking away. I used to drink a lot. Hello, for a show, I presume? Yeah. Let's, let's go to a show. I need a ticket, please. The show will be behind in any of the doors beside the booth. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. How cool is this? Welcome one and all to the remarkable example of modern entertainment at its finest. Now, most of you youngins, I'm sure, know about our great national hero and pioneer, Josiah Blackwater. Him that gave the town of Blackwater its nomenclature. You see, only about nomenclature. a years ago, we're nothing here but big old force, ferocious beasts, surly savages, arid deserts, and unconquered mountains. The West, well, the whole West was under. And then white man came. Your mama probably told you bedtime stories about Josiah's many adventures. But I'm going to tell you a story you ain't likely to have heard about his father. possum. Now, Josiah Blackwater was born in the year of our Lord, 1782, in a log cabin just west of Ansburg. He was a special boy. His pa gave him his first rifle when he was three <laughs> years old. Boy, you took to it right away. He got a mustache. Yes, sir. He really took to killing all manner of things. He was such a keen shot. One morning, he was sorting up some winter turnips for the root cellar when a big old bear and a I think he's played vintage story. Hunting for food. It had a mind to eat up all the jams and preserves. Josiah grabbed that bear and wrestled her to the ground and squeezed and squeezed and squeezed. He was the tar clean out of that big old crib. Betty tied her up and grabbed them cups and oh my God. them into sausages while the mama bear watched. Oh my God. That fine eating. His mom and pa knew right then he was cut out to be the finest wild frontiersman that ever drew breath. But first, they wanted him to get some book learning. After only three days of attending school, Josiah beat the living daylights out of the class bully and announced to his daddy that he was tired of ciphering and mathematics on account it's only good for adding up the number of critters or Indians you can kill. So he ran away from home and headed west. Now these lands were occupied by savages then, and when Josiah Blackwater came scouting through, he recognized it to be a land of splendor, wasted on those that couldn't appreciate it on account of worship and false idols. He got rid of all them pesky buffalo, and thereby ensured those infernal engines didn't have nothing to eat. Of course, that got them mightily riled up, so he had to slaughter all of them too. Just like his daddy had once done to the Redcoats in 1775. Right about that time, he met an Indian girl he took pity on, on account of having annihilated her family. She was 12 years old. Oh my old, God. And so he took her as his wife. She gave him two sons before she died of typhus. Now, y'all know that Josiah Blackwater wore a possum for a hat. But most don't know how that came to be. This is well, one day, old Josiah was riding a couple of alligators down the Lanahatchee River. Riding, standing up, and shooting eagles right out of the sky. When he sees a big old mountain lion about to eat a possum. Josiah grabbed that mountain lion by the tail and wrestled it till it was plumb dead. Well, that possum really took to Josiah. Followed him around like a dog loyal to his master. Yes. They had a lot of adventures together. Now Josiah never cried a day in his life, but he pert near dead on the day that possum passed. For they were mighty fine friends. So he skimmed it and <laughs> made it into a hat. Back in them days, a possum skin was as good as money, but he never parted with that hat, not even for $10. Once he founded the town of Blackwater, he sent word for settlers to come. It was the last stop in the west before Don't need to be careful if I start telling me that, telling you that four friends. Nina Hells be at a barn dance one night. Took her as his wife and settled down. Built himself a cattle empire and had 14 youngins. But Josiah Blackwater wasn't the home loving kind and he grew mighty restless. One day on the courthouse steps, he announced, You may all go to hell and I will go to Saint Denis. And so he did. Enjoyed French pursuits, of strumpets and walking strumpets. Gluttony, which is where he came upon the idea of running for Congress. <laughs> he wore that possum hat every day as a congressman, as a reminder of where he come from. Saying, "I may live in barbaric splendor, but I always remember: keep your friends close and your gun closer, because you don't know when you might have to shoot them." Wow. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> that was a trip. All right, well, I've been to the city to see the theater. Well then, that was, that was an experience. I mean, this is beautiful. My God, he's so grubby. Good to see you. Come back for another one. Um, why am I here? Oh, I think I'm just exploring. Oh, I'm actually not that far away. All right. A theater. Eh, bounty poster. Joe. Barber. Surely the tailor in the city has something good, right? I, I hate that I keep on, like, my first prompt anywhere is... Aim a weapon. I, aim a weapon. I can't summon my horse. Hello? Here is my horse. Wait, what is... What is that emote? Oh right, I got the horse stuck on the scales. <laughs> it's it's fine. Saludos. So it looks like there's a lot of fake buildings in this town, which kind of is disappointing. But I guess it would be a lot to uh, fill in. Truxim, 1899. Why is it making me do that? That's just silly. There's a saloon. Just a farm boy. I'm to the big city. So much poo everywhere. Just like so much horse poo. And these houses are beautiful. <clears throat> Are these houses that I can visit asking for a friends? the gates wide open. Hello? Anyone home? Oh, oh hello. So many hats, Bugma. That's cute. There's like a little shared pathway down the back. Oh, this is so pretty. I wonder... Ooh. What in the blazes? Wait! What did it... Wait! What did I do? I 
not just here for a bath. I don't know what you're all talking about. Oh, is that what I am, past reason? I was just admiring the garden. I don't I don't think this pond water is deep enough for me to wash in. So to be honest, I probably don't want to wash in this. I want to get all nice and clean, like, but you know. The city. Oh. I mean, I'm pretty gross. This looks more likely. Here we go. Probably full of gators or leeches. I can't. How do you clean in this? You just like walk through the gross water. in the middle of a lake and just chug a can of peaches. How do I... How do I wash my face? Size of that fish. They were like, look at that country fella waiting out here on our lake. I don't seem to be getting any cleaner. I just want to wash my face. Can I wash my face? Or am I forever destined to be grubby as a motherfucker? Well, I mean, I know. I, I'm not. I'm not trying to impress anyone. I just want to be clean. Hey, for bathing. That seems silly. Exactly. Hello? <laughs> oh, I can see a fire in the hearth. Let me in, I need a bath. My head's dirty. Yeah, it is. A hundred percent. Absolutely. <gasps> oh. oh, heck. I don't think I'm supposed to be here.
Fine. Settled in seventeen twenty. Come here, horsey. The houses are so pretty. There's like policemen on every corner. Heck. This is gorgeous. Actually, this reminds me of um, Savannah. Oh, hey, Wazzy. Oh, yeah, this reminds me a lot of Savannah. Exercise. Won't you support our veterans and their families? Think of what they sacrificed for everybody. Please find it in your heart to give to those who gave everything. Your donation will greatly improve the lives of our nation's heroes and their loved ones. Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you for a minute of your time? Nice no, to see you again, sir. No aim weapon. Why is that the first? Did you change your mind about donating by any chance? We could really use your support to improve the no, lives lose of our families and their families. How? I want to. Oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> I dollar, almost lo no I almost stole. Sure, I can help you out. It's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation Bob. will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great Bob day, Dobbelina. Mr. Morgan. Oh, God. Well, so you can't do that. You're going to get arrested for trespassing. Martha, Martha Morgan. Yes. Arthur. No, I don't know Arthur Morgan. Uh, I know uh, Martha Morgan. They're my cousin. Um. I don't know why, but for some reason, that just reminded me. Oh, I'm sorry if I run you over, buddy. Um. Oh. I mean, I'm not. I'm trying! For fuck's sake! I'm just trying to get off the dang horse. <laughs> um, so this morning, out of curiosity, it's like I drive a horse like I drive uh, a truck, apparently. Uh, this morning, I decided to install uh, a thing for uh my webcam oh, is this supposed to be jacks okay where is the inside um i think for basically my my elgato software for the webcam had an update and then i saw it had a thing for ar for eye tracking and i was like okay that looks interesting so i installed it this eye tracking AR thing. Fucking terrifying. Yes, sir. I don't know if you Hello, mister. Like very, very, very scary. Um 
I might put it on for a laugh one time, but it was like just disturbing this whole like every time I'd like tilt my head. No, that's um that little the little circle on screen that shows where your eyes are looking, that's from Toby. That's an eye actual eye tracking software. This thing Elgato uses is part of NVIDIA's software, but it basically makes it look like you're looking in the webcam more often. The point being is that the more eye contact, the better. But if you sit at the wrong angle, which apparently is the angle I sit at, it basically, like, my eyes are just like... <laughs> um, and then they were just, like, flickering, and I was just like, oh... Like, it, it's terrifying. I can't. <laughs> I looked at it, and I was like, no, I can't inflict this on people. It, it is horrifying. Got some blue stockings over here. Jackson Square, this is General Quincy Harris. I want to find this woman who's going on about being able to vote. They're very pretty, aren't they? You're talking about these little purple ones, right? How's everything with you? It's been a trying few days. You just stay strong, yes? Let me vote! Let me vote! Let me vote! I can say this all day! Let me vote! Let me vote! Let me vote! I will say this for as long as it takes! Come on, people! Let me vote! Oh, here she is! How do you do? I want to vote! I insist that I deserve the right to vote. You do. Ma'am? You, my friend, what do you think about women's suffrage? Women voting? Sure, why not? Oh, thank you, sir. You are a true progressive. Anyone dumb enough to want to vote, I say go for it. Oh, oh Arthur. a cynic. How dull for you. I do hope you grow out of it, young man. It's so unappealing. Unappealing is what I do best. <sighs> Ma'am, I just tried to bathe in swamp water. What, I don't, what do you want from me? Don't you push up on me. I'm not pushing up on you. Alright, so... The tailor, how do I... <gasps> You're walking away from history, you fools! Women and men both deserve to decide the future. This is meant to be the land of liberty? And if somehow I am not free to vote... How do I get in there? Bonjour. Bonjour. Oh. oh, that's a bar. Oh, oh, door. Hey. Hello. Oh. Come on in. Mind your step. Sorry, Mister. My mistake. Hey. Please. No. Oh, you bastard! That man just robbed you. I saw it. Get after him. He just pickpocketed me! Extraordinary. This man's crazy! You need to stop him! He's trying to rob me! Uh, look, I'm old, buddy. Watch out! Just wanted. Don't come any closer. 
a pretty outfit, and now I'm lost. Oh, pickpockets! Isn't it time to end this nonsense and let us vote? Once and for all! So is this, is this the place you thought it was? Is this Jackson Square? Hello, mister. Let me vote. Let me vote. Let me vote. I kind of love when games do that. Makes you feel like a real connection with stuff. Alright, let's try this again. Uh, but maybe through the door. Where's the door? What's the door? Chicken doors. Excuse me, sir. I just got pickpocketed in your fine establishment. Let me know when something catches your eye. I don't know if they've got different clothes here. Ma'am, you're going to be sitting there a little while. Wait. 1899. What year did women get the the right to vote? When was it? It was added into the Constitution, right? What amendment was that? Yeah, that's what I mean. I only stock the best in 1920. Buy from me. I had. Never be By the way, if anyone wants a copy of the Constitution, you can get a copy, a pocket copy of the Constitution for free from the ACLU. I got one for myself just out of interest. Hey, Molly! I can't remember which one it was. Oh, my man, if I had a dollar for every time somebody said to me, haven't I met you somewhere else? I think it's fascinating. This is a very interesting document. The 19th? Oh yeah, there it is. The right of citizens of the United States to vote shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or any state People on account of states. All sound the same. Congress shall well, have the power to enforce this offensive. article by appropriate legislation. 8, 18, 19, 20. <laughs> but yeah, I, you can, yeah, ACLU will send you a free copy of the Constitution. And honestly, the reason I got this was for this section here, where they give you advice on what to I say. Behind everything I sell because in this, place this is so you can purchase with confidence. About having knowing your rights, because I live in Florida, so I was like, you know what, this is good to have. So we, I keep it by my door to my room. Which may be a little bit paranoid, but hey. Big ham. I, I did ask. the best in my shop. Buy from me and you'll never be disappointed. Molly, how was the podcast? It... I was kind of watching chat and it looked like it was a really positive wholesome experience like just seeing that what was popping up in chat oh awesome let me know super sweetie to help you leave here feeling good and looking great it looked i don't know it looked it was a really good presentation i wish um i wish i'd been able to pay proper attention to it do you know if they'll have the VOD or if they'll do a highlight of 
I take pride in my selection here. Of it so I can watch it later. Exceptional quality. <gasps> a stovepipe hat. People around here come in just for those. Awesome. I don't want that. Do I need to get... A stovepipe hat please, and a tailcoat while I'm I in the city. Only the I think I do. It's on sale. Oh. Uh, Every hat style. It's a bit tasty though. All of a quality that commands respect. Wait, why does it look so? This is supposed to be a new hat. Oh. Oh, there we go. A new hat can change your life, and all of mine will change it for the better. Now that looks that fabulous. Is the highest quality you can find. Come now, don't doubt yourself. That looks yeah. excellent on you. I want a nice jacket. That is a local favorite. You little Lord Fauntleroy. I get all sorts walking into this establishment, but they all end up looking better when they walk out. Oh, well, hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. Oh, my Lord, look at all these shoes. <gasps> What are these? Oh, they got flowers on them. My lord, I, I love these. Behind everything I sell in this place, so you can I really like those. Confidence. <sighs> those ones or those ones? Well. You'll be getting a little more attention from the fairer sex wearing that. Maybe that's the plan. Ah, uh, moldy turn. Wait, no, I'm good. People around here come in just oh, for those. Spurs? Well, I go clink clink when I walk with spares. Uh, those ones don't that match. Is a local favorite. See, they don't really match the boot. Oh, those might work better. Uh, oh, maybe? Maybe? We're gonna look bitchin' by the time we're we've finished here. <sighs> oh, what? I don't I care if it matches the the darker me, or the lighter color, but I need it to match. Like a real rootin' tootin' son of a gun. Oh. 
So, what do you think? Wearing it out? Uh, well, I mean, those look pretty... I don't like the gold, really, but those could do. The Gurdon Rider Spurs. Okay, we tried those. Those were two one eight. People around here come in just for those. Oh, I kind of like those. That is a local favorite. What do we reckon? These ones? I think these these went. You might just be the best looking man in town wearing that, excluding yours truly, of course. I'm just you know, I don't don't really enjoy the color of gold. I need to put on the hat and the, the boots. Oh, there we Let's go. Leave. Now I'm wearing I'm closing the... now. If you have anything you'd like to buy, please let me know. Yeah, this is how I go shopping. I've honestly spent a lot of time doing outfits. I love a the good copper. Coat save your life. A great coat will look good doing it. I do like how they've got different textures. Oh, there's more. Shit. I'd love to find a coat that matched my my hat. I stand behind everything I sell in this place, so you can purchase with confidence. See, there's it. You, a tail coat should look fancy. Why, why did it, that change my hat? I love the vest. The vest is not getting changed. My, my, I really think it's perfect for you. Definitely not changing the vest. Why does it keep on changing my hat, though? Wait. I have plenty more great items. Well, I, I'm not in a rush Where today. Where did my head go? Your did I buy it? I could stay open a little longer. I can't remember if I bought I don't know if I bought it or not. How do I... Is there a way... ...to change my outfit here? Like a mirror or something? Now what's going on in here? That is a honeybee question. Go back into the catalog to equip stuff for your house. It'll keep you warm and looking your best. Outlets. What color speaks to you? Yeah. Oh, and it'll just like stay there. Well, 
Well, pardon my saying, but you look right handsome in that. Oh. Oh. Well, apparently I just pulled an Easter hat. Just for those. I want a I want a coat to match my hat. I don't think that's much to ask. Like oh, actually, man, that's not yourself. bad. That looks excellent on you. That's not bad, and it kind of works with the vest as well. So you changed my head again. Now these coats are sturdy and they look great. Perfect for a week in the woods or a night on the town. Oh, it's got a lined collar. Indeed. Hat. This is a bit of a cumbersome system. That is a local favorite. It is odd. How do I know? Is that the one that I've got here? Oh. Oh, I like my if leather vest here. You just let me know. Accessories. Oh, do we have a? Well, those look. People around here come in just. Dogs for those. like me. I have mine off. We need some braces. A puff tie. <gasps> oh my god, that's amazing. Paper. Is it just me or is Arthur just looking really uncomfortable while I play dress up here? He's just like, oh, no way. I only stock the best in my shop. Buy from me and you'll never be disappointed. Probably. Okay. I'm gonna... <laughs> that would be nice if you just like pick something out and then you're wearing it. Are you looking for something to go with what you just bought? Uh, sir, please don't be concerned that I'm chugging assorted salted offal in your store. Candy. Okay, so maybe that's what we need to do then. We've got rent oh god, I was in here overnight. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe it's the. I need to put the horse on my hat. Oh my god, what if I could. What's on my head? I put the head on my horse. Good morning to you, sir. Ooh. Bonjour. Some days are good. Some days are nice. A horse hat, yeah, like in. Um. Hey. Uh. Uh There we go. Huh. Funny that. Oh, 
heard what you heard. Morning, sir. Moth? Wait, what? What did I say? Saju, Saju had horse hats. Has horse hats. I'm not hearing a chink 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 sound as I'm walking. I'm very disappointed. How do I activate my? Can't get enough of the place, sir. Um. Do that. Activate do that. All right, now I have the coat equipped, the hat equipped. Spur mode activate. There we go. A good coat could save your life. A great coat. I think will this is the coat. Is. It doesn't match the hat, but it's got that same sort of autumnal vibe. I think this is the coat that I need. You might just be the best looking man in town wearing that, excluding uh, your Well, thank you, coat. sir. I think so, too. That should be good. Let's have a looky. Well, Arthur, you scrub up quite nice, don't ya? Oh, what? Wait, there's a bullet hole in my head. That wasn't there when I bought it. Was it? Actually, I bought two hats. Important question. Oh, you're going to see if I added them to the list. I mean, they're, they're bought with money from ill-gotten gains. Thank you for your help. The investors are starting to worry. All of my money is from selling stolen goods, so I think... How are things with you? The bullet hole. As well as can be expected. Yeah, All right. Oh, the voting lady has moved on. Good morning to you. I didn't get any dress gloves. I don't think you got any idea about the land you walk in, do you? What us raiders gave for it. I've seen folk like you before. Always the first to run screaming. Round hey. here's a dozen towns folk offer to bury you just to keep the ah. hands clean. Make yourself scared. Running I'm not. Of free men. I have no interest in starting shit in this city. Oh, oh, it's a casino. Come on, move. Oops, sorry. I wasn't looking where I was going. I was looking at my cell phone. Oh, I'll be starting shit soon enough. I'm just still trying to get the uh, lay of the land. I'm looking fancy now. 
Oh, they're having tea. Can I? Oh, muscle. Oysters. Can I join them? Cat. This here is a real man's game. They're drinking from bottles, ma'am. So that means you're Let's try this out. All right. You ever play this before, friend? Man, coming to the city is costing me a lot of money. But I look fabulous. I didn't buy the fancy pants. I should have got the fancy pants. Would you like me to join you? Oh, I'm good, thank you. I like your dress, though. Alright. Now this makes me think of Bourbon Street. <laughs> the balcony on the corner here oh you know what other things that i really like about this game is there's so many people and they all seem to have purpose over this hat. Placing this. Just trying to make ends meet. That happens. Okay. So she keeps on getting a bit tangled up with her blanket out there. The, um, she's got little fleecy blankets and uh, 
with her new shoes. There's Velcro on her shoes, so she keeps on accidentally getting the blankets wrapped around her. It looks a bit cleaner now. This will do for me nicely. Hey, be well. All right. I feel like I don't. I don't want to get. <gasps> Photo studio. Hello. I don't want to make oh, uh, Arthur shave. Fancy foods. House and fresco painting. Morning. What's this? Goes that. Now this is a pretty little courtyard. Hey. Cool. Hey, sir. E for you too. Hi, thank you. Thirty eight second months. Hi, so I hope you and the wifey are doing well. <coughs> Green, I got you. Get out my trusty book. Uh, what are we at? 29. Asa. Three. Done. Yes, it's it's taken a little bit, but I'm adjusting to the controls. Um, the unasked for, but my biggest tip for anyone picking this up for the first time is you don't need to run everywhere. In fact, you're doing yourself a disservice by running everywhere because, first of all, you're missing the amazing detail in this game. But secondly, everything is so much harder when you move fast in this game. Like, to aim and loot, it, loot things, it's a nightmare if you're going fast. You doing okay? Um, and once I figured that out, it just felt so much better. These days ain't short. Morning. What am I doing back here? What is this? This looks like a place I'm not supposed to go. But I look fancy and I have a top hat, so I should be allowed in. Symmetry. This is really pretty. There was a, a cemetery near where I lived in London. And it was absolutely beautiful. And I would frequently take you know, my backpack with a drink and snacks and find a nice quiet tree to sit by and just, you know, absorb the peace and quiet in there. And also 
maybe there's some of the things for me to loot. But it was just such a, a beautiful symmetry. Oh, people made a mess in here, huh? Oh, it's actually quite large. I just saw in the uh, the thing over there. Oh, what if? I mean, it was worth trying. You never know. There could have been a doorway to hell in there. Or, you know, food or something. Well, I kind of, I feel like I cheated the city thing. Um, I went to the train station and I'm like, where can I go? And then I saw uh, St. Dennis and I was like, that sounds like an interesting place. Being unaware that it was a city, oh, sorry, Saint Denis, or however I'm supposed to say it. I don't know. Um, so I just came here accidentally on train. I'm here accidentally and now I'm just wandering around a cemetery in a top hat. Oh, I was like, there's a train. Let's go somewhere. What I'm doing is avoiding <laughs> Avoiding rescuing Micah. Micah? Who's Micah? I don't know who Micah is. Oh, can't go in there either. I didn't I didn't know if the trains worked as a method of fast travel. Mike is the one that I'm letting rot in a jail cell because he's a jackass. I like, I think like in the first few seconds of interacting with him, I'm like, you're a dick and I shoot you in the face. Um, and apparently I can't. Your car, exactly. Not my car. Your car. Someone else's car. Don't tell me use the Garibaldi. Hey, don't give it away. You see this one here? Couldn't want to be the wind of him. Why am I coming here? Oh, right, a photographer. Sir. Hello. I do love Sir, I would like you to capture my picture. <laughs> oh. I love this. Yes, now pour it for me something. Change background. Whoa. That one, thanks. Y 
you know if you were really in this is amazing you would be wearing less mm -hmm. definitely this way give me a pause and don't be shy We have it. Perfect. How do I see my picture? I done got my picture took. All right, guess that's that. Oh, you're stuck. Um. I don't think I can do anything about that. Hello? Will someone help me with the dog, please? Hey! What? Oh my god, that dog looks awful. We freed it, Buckma. Buddy, can I pet you? No, 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 no. No, get off. Get off. Get off. I don't do it. I was trying to pet the dog. I know it seems hard to believe with me, but that was absolutely accidental. But I'm gonna just hang over here. I just wanted to pet the dog. <laughs> uh. Oh, can I steal the boat? Hello? Huh? I think he's going faster than I can swim. Yeah, I don't think I'm catching that one. It's... And they're just getting washed, Buckma. It's fine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah. <laughs> uh. Am I going to start? Oh, God. It's fine. <laughs> Everything is fine. <laughs> God, I... <laughs> Cut that a little close. All right. It's fine. Let 
me just eat some of this random fish and meat that I have in my inventory that I've been carrying around for I don't know how long. I don't have any amazing. Okay, so. Yes, it's pocket aged meat. <laughs> Boss things. Um, can I can I take the boat? I think I can. Okay. You think the judge will take it? I'll be like, look, I was just trying to pet the dog. Portion unstable. Seems fine to me. Okay, well, I guess, uh, I probably need to go to the post office. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Okay, so... I can't read. What's up? Hello? I mean, there's no one in here. Those railway sleepers? I think they're railway sleepers. Look, my suit's nice and clean now. This is, uh, um, uh, dry cleaning Nolan style. I wonder, though, now, if perhaps... Perhaps the carriage that I'm accused of stealing is still there. Oh! <gasps> Peggy! Hey, Piggy! I can't pet the pig either. Hey, Piggy, Piggy! Okay. It's... Is there this... Oh, God, there was a dead horse. Look at the doggo! And there's a pig! The clean pig! The bee! Oh, I can't pet them! I'm just curious if the wagon I tried to steal is still here. Like, probably not, right? Man. Okay, fine. I'll go find the post office and pay off my bounty again. I think maybe, um... Hey. I was contemplating at the start of stream whether I should have a... a, a bounty county. Yep. 
I, I have, I've already lost count of how much money I paid in bounties today. Oh, that is a pretty horse. Maybe some good shit to steal in there. Uh, wait, what for? No, stop it. Ow, ow. It's literally $5. This is unnecessary escalation. indeed I got killed for accidentally stealing a cart when I was trying to pet a dog and they, I couldn't even pet the dog fucking ripped off they didn't even clear my bounty That was rubbish. I should write to the governor. something behind yeah Liberty my corpse try biding the law it ain't so bad i thought he was thanks mister and i lost my hat dropping in like less than 30 seconds now um so good time to stand up stretch eat have a wee um i'm gonna just eat some spam or whatever the fuck i just ate I was like, where, where is all my food? Biscuits. Biscuits will make me better. Okay. Once again, I'm going to risk leaving my character here and uh, take a break. So I'll be back in a couple of minutes.
good. Changes to the day of the week. That's just how life goes, my friend. Hello, sir. Good evening, mister. Oh, hey, I'm alive and haven't been pooped by anyone. So we've had our we've had our picture made. We've got a new suit of out of clothing. <clears throat> we were just in So is this I'm I'm unfamiliar with the South. This is basically a quarter of the modern, like one of the par parishes? No, that's not the right word. Is it one of the parishes of, of New Orleans? I can't remember what the word is. It has like a religious -y sounding word, but I can't remember what it is. Not borough, but... In, okay, it is parishes, okay. <gasps> Beard, look! Electric company.
Thank you. Yeah, I couldn't remember if it was Paris or something else. If we can get my horse some fancy new dirt. Hey there. Huh? What are you doing to that horse? It's starving. Got some room in the stable here. I'll give you a fair price. You know, a horse can tell when you're using a cheaper son. Repurchased settles? What does that mean? Oh. You see any of the chickens yet? Every morning I wake up to those damn birds clucking away. Oh, that's got the whole that's shebang the in there. Nice. Oh, I guess I have that one now. But I want that one. All right. I can't tell you how many times I use that one. Does it do anything? I think it's just appearance, right? I'm thinking of putting signs up for the shop along those bumpy roads just down the way. I think that'd bring in some business. Oh, you're the type who likes to stand out, huh? Give our pony a haircut. I don't like the braids. I think they look a bit silly. You know, I, I've lived here my whole life. Seen this place go through hell and back, and I wouldn't change a thing. Be sure to let everyone know where you've got this nag room. I think the braids look pretty. All right. Good choice. I just keep buying tails. Keep buying horse tails. There you are. There we go. We have a horsey spa, and she gets a new saddle and stuff. Peppermints, candy canes. I know, I'm spending like crazy here. I probably spent like, I don't know, 80 bucks. Howdy. 
I've bred, handled, cared for, and trained more horses than anyone else in the state. You ask the rest. You need a break from that horse. They're always welcome back. There you go. Now you got a fancy saddle. All right. Um. So these are all the fancy houses that apparently I'm not allowed to break into or some bullshit. Let's, uh... Okay. Howdy. What is your damn problem? I mean, I'm slowly on the road. What's your problem? Oh, it's a train station. All right. I think this is where we arrived. All right, let's go this way. Should I do the Micah quest just to get it out of the way? It's just, well, fuck him. Think all this Lemoyne air is free for you? Arthur looks so fancy having been to the big city. <laughs> What are you agitated by? Yeah. Man, this is bumping for sure. Oh, someone's having a bad time. Oh, these houses look beautiful out here. Look, the last time I tried to do that, it didn't end well. Uh, my skin is crawling with, you know, the knowledge that this place is going to be full of fucking mosquitoes. Oh, okay. I guess we're going this way. Yep. I had no plans. I was just like, I'm just gonna see where we go. Then maybe someone will try and shoot me so I can shoot back. Gorgeous. Oh, what just? Good to. Fucking kudzu. Yep. It'd be nice if it were daylight here. I absolutely love how you can see the uh, like lamp light here. Oh, there's a froggy!
I I feel like it's a bad idea to get off the road. Yep. We're gonna swap. Like it's probably fine. Probably. It's pretty densely populated. sound was. Yeah. It looks like an N, but I don't think it is. Howdy doody. So much mud. Like, ugh. Why? Just Ugh, the mud, incessant mud. Oh, something went down over there. Blue water marsh. Oh, that's a fishing spot. Oh, bait shop. We want to go left. Idiot. The th I can't get over the lighting in this. So what if I do this? I do say... that. Alright, but what if I do like that? Just at, here we go. Auto horse. You I'm sorry. Like oh, wait, hold up. Get him. Ah! I have to go save her. Um. The fuck are you going? I've got to go save the girl. I miss it. Too late. Oh no, there's a fork in the road. No, the radiant quest. I guess I think I took too long. I see a lady being taken against her. Well, I need to rescue her. Oh, that's another book. Yeah, I think once you get out of sight of them, the little like mini voice things, like, see it. I 
just ran over two birds. Oh, nice. I know. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. Okay, we should stay on the road now. And now we're in sweeping cinematic. Do that, and I'm gonna eat my Walmart brand nutty bar. you just leave like a big blob of dirt on every surface? Tell me your secret. Mm-hmm. It is, right? They have delicious candies, though. Oh, geez. You look like you need to poop. Yeah, that's a good point. Oh, oh, oh thank you. That's all Mavis's poop and potion. Oh, oh, oh. I had a bite of that plan over there and it hit my guts like a freight train. Oh. It's that little one over there with the pink flowers. I'd stay well clear of that. If I was Ooh. Idiot. Yeah, I think you've sold me on that plan. Tell me this about one? it. Oh, yes. Oleander is... is definitely a toxic clown. For sure. I was, um, I ended up getting ready to stalk something there and then realized that that is a fallen log. So, uh, yeah. I mean, I could stalk it, but it probably wouldn't 
so much use. Yep. Well, this looks interesting. oregano and I think there's some sage over there too so now what do I do with my hats because now I have the hat Oh, I don't really need to keep looting hats because I have pet. I've done a little bit, but nothing with like seasoning stuff. Oh. More hats. Get a hit mode, they're just all of them stacked one on top of the other. Umbrella. Multi hats. <laughs> what 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 is the uh like four point two billion or something stupid? I don't, I don't know what the limits are in stream elements. I don't know if there's that many hats. I guess we've got the, we've got the, the fancy hat. Dang, this is like an amazing patch for herbs. We've, we've got the fancy hat for emergency hat situations. But then I just have to play this forever. A long time. Wow, this is an amazing spot for gathering. There's a horse up there. Hello? Oh yeah, I thought it was like 4.2 or 42. Rather. Yeah, good start. I cannot get over how much stuff I'm finding here. With all the mushrooms that I've just picked and all the, the herbs, I could make the most delicious meal. Hey buddy, are you just... Hey, what was that for? I was just seeing if you were okay. Oh. Hey, buddy. Are you okay?
I just wanted to see if he was okay. Alright, well, let's move him further off the road. Come on, let's go for a walk. There's some more sage. Some. will do nicely. I cannot carry any more time. Man, I'm gonna have to remember this has been like the the spot for herbs. So I've I've got a bunch of herbs. You can have me. Well, you tell that to the game that keeps on telling me, telling me that I can't carry more. My burden of time is already too many. Hey, horsey. Good horse, please don't kick me. There's a girl. Good horse. <laughs> and the other guy's not using it. Make it a chain of horses. Miss Adventure, I'd like you to meet the horse. They liked each other. Um, is it like get off of Um, I've been poisoned. Eat a health herb such as ginseng. Oh, they're on my horse. Hey! No! Oh, am I still poisoned? I think I am still poisoned. I have ginseng somewhere. Does it matter? Or am I healed already? Oh, they just it. Hey, buddy. What happened here? Oh my god, wait, were those my gold tooth? Teeth?
All right. So, <laughs> I guess they are mine now. Yeah. So I've I've done like a cooking in as much as is uh, a fire, and I cook meat, and I have a bunch of herbs, but I and mushrooms, but I don't know if there's anything more in depth than that. Yeah. I seem to be okay. Was I cured by biscuits? Oh, I am still poisoned. Why can I not click all of these? I'm just eating tobacco. That's not delicious. Is it squirrel tail anywhere? Anyone? Burdock. It should help. Don't eat the oleander. Highly poisonous for horses. I was just stand on the side of the road eating one of each herb in my bag until something else happens. There we go. Was it? I, did it wear off or did did Yero do it? All right, girl. All right. Yeah. I think so. I can't, like, my, my herb lore in my brain is kind of fading with misuse. Misuse. Non-use. What is going on up there? Like, I know Yarrow is, is, oh, excuse me. Oh, they're building a road. It means I'm going to go over there. Like, I know, like, Burdock is supposed to be the birds. It all just kind of fell off. Oh, there's a pretty waterfall. This game makes me want to be able to build a house wherever the fuck I want. Yeah. What I want, a game that looks like this. Assassin's Creed and... 
this and you know other things but that lets you build wherever you want got like the weirdos in the trees tailored saddles made to measure look no further hi there don't believe we've met before uh, hi nothing quite like wearing your best day's work My God. That looks so bad. <gasps> oh man, I bet that would be really comfy. It blends in so perfectly with this. One of a kind. Here. One of a kind garments. Work or lake work, I assure you. I kind of like that one. With the uh the lures. Oh Dakota, tall trees, big valley, Roanoke. I run this stall just about everywhere. Best way to source the skin. That's kind of fancy. An expert in anything in this. Pendelias look pretty fucking good though. Hey Goose! Every one of my garments is a little different because every pelt is a little different. Garments? Nowhere else. <laughs> Can I I can't sit your fire. Bye. Uh oh. Where the f horse? Give me a I mean, or not, that's cool. Alright, so we've ridden... <sighs> quite a way here. Looking through the marshes, we're back up into the forest. You know what, let's go to... the fence because I've got a bunch of valuables to be sold. It's funny I didn't even really notice the uh, the transition of getting out from the swamp up into the hills until just now. Exactly yeah we need more hats. Are you something or are you just a pretty flower? 
just a pretty flower. Never mind. I just I hate to stop and check. Sorry, horse. Okay, my girl. Yep. We've done been to the city and got all fancied up. At least I I know what picture I'll be using for uh for the thumbnail yeah. for today. Because we got a picture taken. My, my soul has been captured on a piece of paper. <laughs> Ali, you've got so many clips from today. It's a rock. Oh, that, that there is a horse. The ten time, probably. Huh. I think those were wild horses. Wild horses. Trying to get lunch. Keep on forgetting what the button is for the uh the ADS, not the ADS, the vets. The in-game vets. I'll try this again. I've not done much hunting successfully, but we can Ooh. Rootin' tootin' shootin' mood. I'm sorry, I just shot you in the ass. How are you running? Any fiber, man.
I, I am I'm well aware that this is not the right gun to be hunting. These things. Really? Apparently my gun's shit. Yeah. I just... Honestly, I... There's no brakes. Well, maybe this one's better. And I know there's things I can do to make it easier, but why would I do that? That was a clean yeah. shot. It's trying to get all the uh, numbers or buttons in the right place. Yeah, can we can we block it? That was one clean shot to the head. someone's sheep oh well there's a dog there oh now now there's a people yeah. I've heard about this Man in a foppish hat yeah. pointing his gun at shit. This adventure wants a brush.
Wait, why do I have my lasso out? Also, I forgot that I had the lasso. Well, Jen, I went off to the city and became a gentleman. I'm a fancy motherfucker now. Yeah, it's you. Hello, mister. Go on, have yourself a quick nosy. Oh, Don't mind if I do. For me? Sure. Four dollars for tea. Yep, I get a lot of these. Oh, you're kind of my bourbon. Not my coffee either. I can fuck off with that. Alright. Alright. Not a word All right. to Wagner. Nor no one else. Hey. I swear I could pet the dog when I was here last time. Okay, girl. Okay, well that was quite the adventure. I feel like I can probably go further away from Micah though. Right? So we can go further east. That. Beaver? That's a beaver! Sawbone clearing. Oh. Uh, you know, I think we just need to go and deal with Micah and get it taken care of because I'm getting tired of seeing his smarmy name. His name is smarmy now, apparently. Oh, okay. Uh, we, uh, have ads coming up shortly. Um, uh, so... Uh, please... Take the opportunity to stand up and stretch and have a break. And, uh, we'll be back in a few minutes.
Are we there? Where am I? Oh, I'm nearly at the... Lips? Okay, where is the town? What's the town? I need to go to Strawberry. What if I can get a coach there? Coffee's broken. It's got a hole in it. Hey, hey, this way. You gotta help me out here, mister. Can you please? Nah, I'm good. Thanks. Oh, stop. Stop. Do not run into the train. Do you smoke, sir? Sure. Uh? <laughs> Perhaps not as much as you. Oh, no, no, don't worry about these. Actually, well, take some. Take a couple of packs. Take a few. Oh, thank you. What are all the cigarettes for? Are you heading on a long journey or something? <coughs> no, 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 no. Nothing like that at all. I'm just interested in the cards. Okay. The cigarette cards. Oh, you got any? Yeah. Well, get them out. Let me take a look. Come on, come on. A little picture card? I like this yeah, guy. Pay a good price. Okay. Here. Ah, nothing I haven't got. The value is in completing the set. Sometimes I'll smoke up to 200 cigarettes in one day. Just oh my God. the packs. I wish I could explain to you the pleasure and the pain I get out of collecting these babies. Sure. Well, it sounds, uh... Thrilling? Yeah, it is. Not to mention the vast amounts of life-reaffirming cigarettes I get to smoke. Oh, and the amount of money. <laughs> A variable fortune, sir. Fortune? Oh, sure, sure. A complete set of any series... It's worth a fortune. Yeah, look at this. Gunslingers. Over here, circus freaks. Yes, yes, yes. Meow meows of the desert. So rare. I never knew. Sure. How much? Well, it depends on the rarity, sir. Oh, of course. Yeah. But you know, if you ever get a complete set, I can uh, take it off your hands. You'd pay me. A fair price. Now, you send them to me right here. Phineas T. Ray. At your service. Okay, I gotta run. This is my train. Look me up, okay? Think about this deal. Only a complete set. That's where the value lies. Phineas T. I love the name Phineas. Phineas T. Ramsbottom. Cartophilist and ephemera collector. All right. So this actually is a, a proper train station. Oh, it's this place. Hey, doggy. Hey, boy. I I remembered what I needed to do to pet the dog. And if I remembered that when I was in the city, I probably wouldn't have got dead. Hello, mister. Oh. 
Well, Okay then, girl. Yep. Yep. Actually, I'm kind of enjoying the, yeah. The cinematic, though. I still keep on expecting it to like lead me. Way off where I'm supposed to be. Hey, Chip Berman, thank you. Oh no, but now I'm thinking about power wash some again. What'd you do that for? On train. I like. I think one of the things that I like really like about this is they've really captured moonlight really well. a very good job of it rather than just you know like some games just make everything blue Keep moving. Keep Wait. walking straight. You'll come out somewhere. Well then, and here I thought people were kind out west. My corpse will lay upon your soul. Buddy, you're going the wrong way. Why won't anyone help me? Have you reconsidered? Oh, sure. That is good news. Come on, girl. Then why are you here? Leave me to my lonely 
demise! Wait, get on the fucking horse! If you won't help, at least have the decency to leave me be! I'm trying to help you, Muppet! Yeah, oh, fuck you. Let me die in peace, damn you! Don't make me shoot you. I tried. I genuinely... Oh, I should put the gun away. Good try. Welcome to Strawberry. One degree Celsius. What's this? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I'm all out of grit. I'm all out of grit. Oh, wow, look at this place. That's fancy. Welcome, Santa. Welcome. New in strawberry? Oh, a bar. Don't mind if I do. I need a wash. All right. Head on over when you're ready. Wait. Wait. Oh, oh. This is pretty. Oh, yeah, bubble bath. Holy crap! That is a fucking bath. Hey, you need someone to take over for you? No, oh, thank you. I think I'm okay. Thanks. Sure, sure. I'll leave you in peace. I'm gonna be so clean. Look at champagne. Oh, man, no, I want a bubble bath. Oh, my stamina increased. Ah. Oh. They did a good job with body language. Like that. That sigh. Mm -hmm. I need to get a tray like he's got in that bathtub for hours. I kind of don't want to get out of the bath. <laughs> I'm gonna just stay here forever.
forever and ever and ever. go Earl chug in some kidney beans A bottle of bourbon it's fine A of bourbon, some coke, chewing tobacco, a bath. Perfect. Get to stay another night? Is it a scene to Ooh, what's on here? Oh, sorry. I mean standing on the table. Thank you. This is such a pretty little oh, town. Man, the buildings boy. don't jive with the uh the tatty roads. You know what? This reminds me of Gatlinburg in uh, Tennessee, Morning. with the sort of artificially y yeah. Don't you think? Like everything's like oldie, but also like perfectly prim and proper and painted, or at least Gatlinburg before that. Oh, Eddie. Morning. Hey, Cap. Hey there, kitty. Yes, yeah, because that road is terrible. <laughs> you can't pet it. All you can do is tell the kitty that it's a good kitty. Yeah, I was like, I've been, I've been to a place like this before. And then I was like, fucking Gatlinburg. Oh look, here this kitty's got a rat. Good job. I have now learned about the American domestic cat. What about chicken? Chicken is chicken. Can I pet the chicken? Chicken like loves too. Wait, what is that symbol? What is this? If, if, if guts. Oh, no, I'm good. <sighs> this also reminds me of some of the 
the little towns that I drive through in Carolina is ones that have like uh, one narrow main road. Well, I guess it's like Gatlinburg too, but it's like one narrow windy road with a bunch of yieldy shops. Well, that's a pretty little garden. It was a place that we went to and they had a, a cider, like an orchard and a cider press in the town and it was like their main thing. And we happened to go through just as they'd done a press. So we got this like fresh made cider and oh, it was so good. We bought some frozen as well to take with us and it just stayed cold for like the longest time. a lot of people hanging about in this town. Morning. Good morning. Rivery Depot. Want a paper? Sorry. Right. Well, see you for the next one. Got them before I had the bath. Morning to you. <laughs> so, are we sure that I can't just let Micah hang and be done with it? I really have to get him out of jail. Yeah. Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mitt, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, sir. Oh, holy crap. The weather was just like, ta-da! I hate him so much. Cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months, and now I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, oh, that's your please. first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. 
You got any dynamite? I mean... This wall just needs some good forcing. Step back a bit. Maybe that steam don't feel me there. It still works. Morning, mister. I stay proficient, ain't it? My suit. This don't lose my hat. Don't you fall down the hill there. so much. Oh, can I just kill him?
sake. Just... Mm. Woman, like I said, I need to see someone. Skinny, get out here. Skinny, it ain't skinny, Micah. It's Norman. Oh. Oh. You always was a left out, you fat sack of crap. Oh. Excuse me, man, at Arthur. Getting, I keep like not shooting. Ow, get off the fucking rock. Thank you. 
really want to shoot him. What the hell was that you pulled back there? Gotta be wild, all right. Wild? Making a house call in the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I can't shoot him. He just keeps ducking. Ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny too. He hadn't found us in time. Yes, it will all be thanked profusely. I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. Some unknown reason. Hold. I think we finally lost him. I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. My way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up half a town. Oh, man, last time I played, I shot half a town. I basically shot an entire town on the last day. Because you're a dick. So why you gotta act like the court just listen? I'm sorry, but we're family now. No, we're not. You... And me, sons of Dutch, makes us brothers. Sometimes, brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back at Strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? Oh, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. The first time I've seen lightning in this. Oh, two side items. Yes. All right, now I've got to find a fucking post office again. Yeah. Additional lawmen are patrolling while a town is locked down. You become wanted again if spotted before clearing. Oh. Sorry, Daisy's got herself in a pickle. I'll be right back.
The dog. She gets all upset and frustrated and all she just needs is help just to put her legs back where they're supposed to go and then she's fine. Okay, so auto forge. Is that going to be one that I'm going to need to add to my list then, Baird? Just a moment, please. What can I do for you? Howdy, mister. Happy to help you start up. $85. Just to be honest, it was all a big misunderstanding. That sounds fun. The fuck am I now? Okay. Well, you know what? That works. Um, I think this oh, oh, is a good stopping point. We've we've shot up a lot of towns and have a fan oh, lost my bloody hat again. Boss, I can't log out with with no hat. Oh, that's nice. Wait. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna put it there. We've got a fancy hat. We've been to the city. Um, so tomorrow is Saturday, I believe. Right? Yes. Tomorrow is Saturday. So we'll be starting off with trucks, as usual, I believe. And then after that, I think I might might do the uh, sponsored stream for Sea of Conquest, which is the uh, the stream of sponsorship that I'm doing right now. Um, so we might do that afterwards, and then maybe after that, some power wash sim, perhaps? I don't know how long it'll take me to do the piratey stuff. Um, it's actually a really kind of fun game, little game. So... <sighs> Who do we want to go see? Go see Soma? Go see Soma. 
I'm just playing No Man's Sky. <gasps> and Soma has a cute hat! Okay, perfect. Okay, I look forward to hearing more about this game, Beard. Okay, we're rating so much extra. They are a really lovely person. I like them, and I think they are cool. Um, they're playing No Man's Sky, so probably for that by now. Um, like I said, I'll be back on tomorrow from 4 p.m. Eastern. Trucks, and then some other stuff. Thank you for hanging out with me. I appreciate it all bunches. Um, here are my raid calls. I'm wrapping up fast because I need to wee again. Always with the needing to wee. Like once I've broken this eel, I'm doomed. Um, but yes, those are my raid calls. Those are my socials. Uh, feel free to click, copy, paste, do your thing. And I will see you. I'll probably see a, bun a few of you in Molly's stream tomorrow. Otherwise, I will see you some other time. Good night. I'm doing good wording. <laughs>